With hundreds of different creatures in Ark, they all have their own different uses and abilities, but some are simply more useful than the rest, and in this video, I'll be listing my top 5 of them. Welcome back guys to another video, my name is Natural Causes, remember to leave a like, subscribe and share the video to your friends if you find yourself enjoying it. Coming in at number 5, the Screaming Feathered Rex, a feathery friend of the snow. The Utyrannus, or Uti as it's more commonly known, is one of the first creatures that comes to mind when you start thinking of any boss fight. With its ability to buff your tames, making them take less damage and deal more damage, the UT ends up being an absolute staple for any tribe looking to take on a boss. With the additional ability to scare away smaller creatures or even recruit wild carnos to its side, the UT is certainly a tame worth getting, even if you're not yet ready for a boss. But fortunately for you, with enough of our next creature, you will be. At number 4, we have the danger of the river, our bipedal friend, the Spinosaurus. You're probably surprised the Spino made this list, but hear me out and hopefully you'll understand why I think so. The Spino with its fast attacks and hard damage output can be an absolute force to be reckoned with. Being able to take down Rexes and other large tames or get onto all four legs and run away makes this tame great for fighting or fleeing. With its hydration buff giving it a bonus to damage, movement speed and health regeneration, simply take a dip in some water and you'll be ready to take on stronger foes. Now even with the Spino being as speedy as he is, good luck keeping up with the next creature on our list. Sitting at a respectful number 3 is the main mount of aberration, the gliding climbing master, a rock drake. Arguably one of the fastest creatures at traversing the map, with its ability to glide, climb and swim pretty quickly, you won't meet any obstacle you are unable to pass quickly and easily. Not only is the rock drake incredible for getting around, the ability to shoot off the back of it makes it amazing for going out to tame creatures, as you can ride it, climb up a wall to safety where the dangers can't get you, and shoot your long neck rifle to trank out other creatures you might need, such as the Therry, the next creature on our list. Coming in strong at number 2 we have the Therizinosaur, our beloved tickle chicken of death. This long nailed herbivore not only is the ultimate wood, berry, fiber, sap, silk, keratin and hard gatherer, harvesting all these resources and more with insane efficiency. But not only is Ethereum an absolute resource gathering powerhouse, it also is a force you do not want to mess with. With its swapping fingers of death, the theory has the power to demolish most creatures in its path. Having a high damage output and munching on tasty sweet veggie cakes, the theory is insane at taking down bosses, with special mention towards the dragon as they won't take the bonus damage from the fire breath that has ended many Rex army's hopes and dreams. Now, before we get to the most useful tame in the game that I can think of, we have some honorable mentions that just barely were not able to make the list, but my discord wanted them to be included anyway. So if you want to add your say for future videos, the link can be found in the video description. It's a pretty cool place to just chill and hang out. Speaking of chilling, our first honorable mention is our Frosty Feathered Flyer from Extinction. With the ability to freeze friend or foe alike, the Snow Owl is an amazing tame for keeping your creature's health in tip top condition. The KO King, the most annoying tame and the Paeon of the desert. We have the Mantis. Being able to use tools makes this tame great for knocking things out, harvesting metal with a pickaxe or even getting fiber with the sickle. Kitty cat of the redwoods, the danger of the skies that has no wings, we have the deadly cat thylacolia. This powerful ninja from the trees is amazing for caves and taking down your early alphas for that extra experience. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, coming in at number one, the mechanical giraffe of Genesis, the text rider. Spawning with a variety of different attachments, this tame can be used for taking down bases, it has a walking tech bed, it has a tech transmitter, or harvesting thousands of resources in the fastest way possible. The Strata is definitely a tame that everybody needs, and even then not just one will be sufficient. You're going to need multiple to ensure you get all the attachments. Simply complete the number of missions you need, harvest some mutagel, and you'll be ready to go out and hack your next tech Strata. Do you agree with my top 5? What creatures do you think I missed? 
Maybe the Pego with its ability to steal loot. Or maybe instead they should just be deleted from the game. Either way, I want to hear about it, so be sure to leave your comments down below, and I will see you guys next time.